go. Okay. Hey, hello, how are you? So now this is inventory for my hair products, which I seem to have a lot of. Darn it. But majority, I would say, majority of this stuff is not necessarily my purchase. Some of them were gifted and others I've bought. Others I've taken from some other people, my family, who no longer use products that I now commit to be mine. So, okay, so let me give, I'll give you an example. This um, conditioner from Paul Mitchell, I declare it to be mine. Um, because I'm also using products on the person who I've taken that from my products onto their hair so they're using my stuff as well okay um, so of course let's start with some face masks of course I have the Aztec healing clay for one of those cleansing clarifying days I don't have any cleanser I do have shampoo from Dove Suave and Head and Shoulders, Selsun Blue and Aussie. Um, I have yet to go shopping at Ross or any of those discounted stores to get a big bottle of conditioner, but lately I have been sufficed with what we already have. So I believe I'm content with what I have and all that jazz. So how do I do this? Okay. This is a dry shampoo. I've only used it twice and I should start using it again. Excuse me. Um, I have this Paul Mitchell. I love this stuff. Be I love this stuff because you need one pump, but I use two because my hair is long or three, depending on if I'm putting it into separate parts because it dries the hair out a bit, but not too much to where it's bad in some way. Um, I dropped something. Sorry, okay, so I think I'm just gonna pick up, okay, so I have a full line, not full line, but a lot of Cantu products that were gifted to me. So we have this sculpt treatment oil. It's hard to dispense and squish out, but I, I use that on the areas that need it. Some strengthening. Um, I was a little heavy on this for a couple weeks during winter because it, it's a protein product and it was a bit too much for my hair because it started to get brittle. So I knew I had to go back to using just moisturizing products for a bit until my skin, uh, not skin, my hair was up to par and not hydrated from the protein. Then got this. This is an old one. You might have seen it. It's almost gone, kind of. I have an edge gel that I use ever so often. Flaxseed oil um, gel can too stuff that is also almost gone which I love. Then we have a leave-in conditioner that's also with the line for winter. This guy and this amoeba are triplets. They stand they stand together. So that's can two for you. And then I have don't mind paying attention to this. This has some um, shea butter that I've had for years. I have one in my room, and this one is in the, the bathroom for me to work on those dry stuff, dry, dry skin and all that. This is a scream and shout for when I do my hair like braids or whatnot. It's literally almost gone, so maybe I need one more braid day and I'm done. Okay. This, I... Was spoken. I've spoken to someone who told me to get this, and I believe they got it for me, or I did. I forgot which, but it's very good. Good for like a slip back, like right now. I'll show you, but I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this. I would say a small amount is what I'm gonna do, because I think I'm gonna shower tonight. See you then. 
Do you see that? No more flyaways for now. Okay. Next, something similar to this one is this hair oil to help grow your hair out. I wasn't using this for me. I was using it for someone else, but it's all right. I have this oil that I tend to wanted to try to do a pre-poop and I haven't done it. I've tried it once and I did not like it. So I'm gonna have to watch some videos on other people's experiences and what they do about pre-pooing. This is a instant freeze. I typically don't use this because I have this guy, which is pretty good when you get, you use it for wigs and all that jazz, but I don't have a wig. I only have one and it's red for Halloween and I can't find that. So that's that. Oh, I do have this disgusting hairspray. Smells horrific. I'm not gonna spritz it and try to tell you how it smells. It smells disgusting. Got it at Dollar Tree. I used their their mousse that was like a trio with that. It did it did okay, but it was very drying compared to this mousse that I have. This is a creamy one. Very nice. I love it to death. This is like the fourth, third time I purchased this myself. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that um with gels i have this guy i've used this way back in the day <laughs> when i first posted i think i used this on my hair for my first hair style video it's like barely there barely in there but it smells delicious mm. i love the matrix stuff matrix because it's the bomb okay and oil is this guy. I've used this on a recent video, a couple, two videos prior to this. Dry styling oil to hydrate and all. I'll try it. It's on my hand. Scrunch it in. Oh, did it kind of wreck the stuff I put on top. Anywho, okay. Now, I have an array of packages. Oh, this is a hair serum. This is a moisturizing oil. I have two of them. Dos. And then I have two of these, this is like a duo, a conditioner or a co-wash, a no lather cleanser, and then a conditioner. I was told by Sally Beauty person that this is the bomb and should be used as all cost. So I plan on using it when I feel the need to. I have two Miss Jessie packets, a pillow soft curls and jelly soft gel just jelly soft curls jelly soft curls so they're both this is a styling lotion and this is a gel yeah okay totally different wash and go wash and go blah 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 okay and then i have a argan oil treatment maybe i'll do this when i take a bubble bath and then my favorite but this does have protein in it curl enhancer um it is open so i don't want to tip it over because i have been using that for a bit but yes i believe that's it with hair so from what i've taken up i do have a leave conditioner which is protein infused i i have a cream strengthening if anything i would need more conditioner for the shower, but I feel like I'm satisfied with that. If I would probably want to do more gel. I finished a gel from a Dollar Tree purchase. Mm, I have enough oil so to, to survive, but yeah. Um, I really would just probably just shop and buy a full set brand. Like I want to do, go to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Oh, whatever the other one is, Ross. 
and um, try to buy a full set of like Cantu. Probably want to buy like Miss Jessie or something where majority of the products are there so that I can buy. That are some things I want to buy and test out and see how they work on me at a discount, of course, because some of them are pretty expensive. Because I thought to just go to Walmart and buy like a full brand, full line, like I did years ago when I bought some Shea Moisture when I first started to take care of my curls in a way. But I have noticed they're a lot expensive. I want to buy the Camille product because that's my name. But that's also expensive, so I have to save up if I'm going to purchase those. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little skin and hair um, inventory because I need to see what I need because I haven't gone shopping in months. Because I know I'm set in stone with everything I have. I just, I just don't know what to do, you know. It's not necessarily something I'm completely happy that I've decided to just, just own some of these products. Forget about them because they're, they're good products. I like them. Okay, bye. share with you my facts that I want to share with you. The first one is I like Kraft macaroni and cheese from the blue box. I prefer Kraft macaroni and cheese. If you give that to me for my birthday, I will be thankful. I may even eat that. Yes. Okay. Second one, I'm lactose intolerant and if I don't drink lactate whole milk, I would then just drink whole milk, but it has to be a small amount. Anything 1%, 2% skin milk of any kind from the Magashi, I can't, I can't tolerate internally. I'll get sick like vomit and runny stool. So, yeah. Now the third one, this is a big one. It's more of a statement, not next, not a fact for you. I want to lose weight. Yeah, and um, I've been looking at BMI charts, and I would have to lose a hundred pounds in order to suit, fit in that chart with my own BMI of being healthy and not overweight because right now I am considered obese. Yeah, but the BMI chart I feel needs to be upgraded in some way, but it's, it's really just weight and height. It's not measuring muscle, and I'm pretty muscular. Like, I think I am. Oh, I can't show you. I can't show you. I feel like I got very muscular back back muscles and my neck there was a time where I felt like my neck was almost bigger than my my head when you look at look at me this way and you just see like I want a slim neck not I don't want to look too skinny but there was a time where it looked like I had a very buffed neck I didn't like it so I also am slightly um, a bit nervous, yet something I need to work on as I'm losing weight is my mindset. Because I have watched some videos of people losing weight, and some of them saying that they, they, gained, it, they gained it all back. Because um, they're being catcalled, and they were getting negative thoughts like, oh, you're too skinny, or just stuff like that, that they couldn't handle mentally so they're just like they, they gained all the weight back and maybe even more so I'm kind of don't want that happening again um, so I want to lose weight but I'm also scared of people commenting
always please them, but you also gotta know, are you eating healthy? Am I? Anyway, so that's it. I like Kraft macaroni and cheese, and I can only drink whole milk if it's regular milk, and only whole milk lactate, I would say. I haven't tried their 2%. I kind of don't want to since when I drink regular 2% milk, I get sick from it, so I don't want to chance it with it being lactate. I just stick with the whole milk. That's what I want. So yeah, I think that's it. So let's continue the video. Bye! <laughs> want to share and document oh, some products that I have I going to display to you and just like show off because it's like inventory I want to make sure everything is here and present so that I can later on know what I need when I need to go shopping at Ross or Marshalls or any of those discounted places where I don't have to pay a full price. So. Okay, so um, cleansers. I still have, I still have this gun in the shower. It is right here, the level of what's left over. This, that is a, it's pretty thick consistency and it takes a while for it to lather up. So I don't use too much, like a pea size amount, maybe a dime. But I just place it like in a U on my fingers and then rub it into a lather. Uh, another cleanser I have and only used once is this foam cleanser. I don't know how good it is. So that's one cleanser I have. Um, I do have, as you know, I have the cold Pond's cold cream for cleansing. And then I have this oil as well for cleansing. And then let's go into some toner. Um, even though this is a mist, I still consider it a toner. I do still have this hydrating. I didn't really use much of it during the winter, but I'm sure I may need it during the summer. Uh, I have this new toner I've used three times already. So that's fun and dandy. Now I'm gonna display some face masks. I have not been using sheet masks lately for a few months. So this is a collagen face sleeping mask. I use that when I apply retinol, but lately I have not been washing it off in the morning because I just slather on sunscreen. That is the um, this is a vitamin C sleep mask as well. I haven't used it. I should start using it again. Um, what else? This is an Honest Beauty mud mask. I have not used either. Yeah. Uh, then, this is not supposed to be for me either, but I wear it too. This is also a sleeping mask, similar to... It's like a one deal thing. So like when I'm lazy and I all I wanted to do was do my hair, which is pretty crazy. I will then just put that on and go to bed or watch TV. Um, okay, so let's go into some exfoliation products. This one is pretty old. I had this way before I was starting YouTube and all that or um, what do you call it? Doing skincare. Because I went and did a facial for like my birthday one, one year. And they gave me this to exfoliate my face. 
but as you can see I only put like a little tiny bit of it and then rubbed it on my face when you probably should have used more than that so I may start using that so I can use it up next let me see the move ever thing that I've spoken of so exfoliating I have still this guy colic um, serum from advanced clinicals and then Cora a new one that has both AHA and BHA um, components in it what else? oh um, retinol which is a friend of mine I still have this um, exfoliating water I tend to use this in the morning every now and then but not a daily thing especially when I do retinol or glycolic stuff. Oh, whoops. Forgot to mention, this guy's a an evening mask as well. Um, can't tell how much is in there, but there's still some stuff in there. Okay. I believe we hit the mark of exfoliating products. Oh, well, there's one more. This is two in one. This has vitamin C, retinol, and it's also a gel mask. So I could use it in one use, put it all over the neck and decollete area. So now let's get into serums. Um, I don't really have much. This one's fairly new and this is what I use during my eczema flare up. Um, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ingredients. Um, very helpful. I love it. But I still shouldn't go too heavy on it because then I won't have it anymore. And then we have the collagen serum that I, I also apply during my retinol evenings. Then I have this vital vitamin serum. <gasps> oh gosh, I don't have that much serum. Oops, my bad. So, I forgot this little guy. I knew I had more than just the serums I've displayed to you. So, here's another guy, another serum. I, I'm starting to use this eye cream as a cream, like face cream, not what it should be. Okay, so that's it with serums. Next, we will use moisturizers. Here's one from Honest Beauty. The retinol I used up already. Next is a balm, which is this. Love it to, not death, but I like it. Mainly because my lips have never been less chappy. And I'm also trying to not lick my lips because that dries them out as well. Your saliva is not hydrating to your lips at all hmm okay so some like treatment options I have is Moderna scar treatment once a day um, when I would go and do plasma I would apply that to my area my arm but not always okay let's go into some let the her beauty bomb from honest beauty I still have it I use it every now and then it is slightly broken. It's broken. It's not slightly, it's broken. So, yeah. That is the Honest Beauty Beauty Bomb. Now let's go into some Dove. So this was a gift. It's almost out. It's almost empty, but I still use it. And this is one I bought for myself. Because why not? It's pink. Um, this is clay. Clay mask. It can be both for skin and hair. Um, I haven't used much. I'm not going to open it to show you how much is inside because it's going to, I'm going to inhale it and I shouldn't because I have asthma. And next is sunscreen. I don't have much. Wait, I do have it. Hold on. And then two of these discounted sunscreens. This one is right at this line. So right here is how much is left in this one. And this one is right near the warning, the warning word of what's in this one. Discount. Okay. Then I, then I still have CeraVe. 
the mineral sunscreen. This is not, I think this is chemical because it's very oily and now my skin seems to like it. I still have this. I had, I bought two when I got the first one. So this is the second one. There is also some sunscreens in my bag that I display, carry around with me a lot. I am also gonna be going outside, so let me, let me quickly put some sunscreen on. Okay, see how quick that was? Um, and then the last one is this copper tone. I'm kind of feeling like this product is old and may not be as potent as it should be because look at this. The reason why I bought this was because it has glitter. Who doesn't like glitter? Not me. I love glitter. But I would put this on my arms. The, th the other thing is it smells like alcohol. Like... hand sanitizer alcohol, the strong potent one where you smell it, you get that whiff and it's, it's too much. And then put it on my hands and then I wash my palms because then I feel like anything I touch will be glitterified. And dry my palms. Okay, and that's it. That is my inventory. So from what I've found, um, and noted and what I need to do is I would need if I would to go shopping today I would want okay I would want more serums and I would want another maybe two moisturizers or hydrators and anything that's niacinamide I can't get hydroquinone because that's now a prescription I would need to get from a dermatologist um, and anything that's there and if there's something I don't need I may even put that and buy that too but yeah that is my inventory for skin now yeah